Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Ride Share Revolutionaries. It's me, Geo, the leader of the Ride Share Revolution, the Ride Share Rockstar, the captain of the 2K Club, the realest, the funniest, the handsomest, and the beardedest driver on YouTube. And I think I ate some bad food recently. Um, all right. So Thursday morning, the morning rush is coming to an end. And I had to use the bathroom really, really bad. And I stopped at the McDonald's on Fullerton, uh, like Fullerton by Ashland. And I used the bathroom. And then I, I felt bad just like using the bathroom and leaving. So I got... And I was kind of hungry, but I wasn't starving, so I got, like, one sandwich, right? One sausage biscuit. And I was lethar... I mean, fast food will wear you out. That's just... All the crap they put... All the preservatives, all the sodium will wear you out. Um, I've been feeling like crap ever since I had that sandwich. I mean, I, I don't feel, like, horrible, but I just don't feel good. And I think that might be the reason why I overslept... Thursday night, and just, I don't wake up till 3 o'clock Friday morning. Um, you know what the really disappointing part about that is? Uh, a certain uh, gal pal, a lady friend, uh, fairly certain I missed out on a booty call. Because <laughs> I, I was sleeping. I'm not saying I would have taken it up on the offer if I was driving. Maybe would have, maybe not. So, uh, the point of that story is... If you want to follow through on booty calls, do not eat McDonald's. All right. Um, yeah. I'm feeling better. All right. So uh, I got this email yesterday. I, a couple of the revolutionaries got this email um, a few days ago. And uh, yeah. let's block these people. Go. All right. So let's read along here. Making room for better bonuses. Introducing the weekly ride challenge. We've heard from many drivers about how we can improve our weekly bonuses, especially our power driver bonus. For some, the power driver bonus has been difficult to achieve. No shit. Because of the requirements around peak hour rides and a 90% acceptance rate. No shit. To make the weekly bonus more achievable, we're rolling out a new op earning opportunity personalized just for you. Yeah, no, me and every other driver in Chicago. Come on, Lyft. Don't lie to me like that. Uh, we're making it simpler. No peak hour requirement, no minimum acceptance rate, no car year requirement. You'll see your first weekly ride challenge on Sunday, 826. In order to roll out more personalized programs that offer the flexibility you've asked for, we're phasing out the power driver bonus. Yes! That is a big... You know what? Uh, let me finish this. Rewarding drivers like you is a priority at Lyft. We look forward to offering you even more valuable earning programs. Sweet! All right. That is a very, very good thing because the lift power drive bonus was more of a hindrance than any. Like it did in certain markets like San Francisco where the PDB was worth 500 bucks or something. It made sense to accept nearly every ride to plan out to take shared rides for peak hours, but you couldn't drive the way you wanted to drive. Like for me, the reason I never... I tried chasing after the PDB once, and I'm like, this is dog shit, because I wasn't driving the way I wanted to drive. I was driving the way they wanted me to drive. And now, with the, with, instead of the PDB, the weekly ride challenge, now I can drive my way and still potentially make bonus money on Lyft. So I'll give praise, I'll give praise and credit where it's due. This is a very, very smart move on Lyft's part. Um, I like it. I mean, this sounds 100% better than the PDB. So, yeah. No, this is a very good move on Lyft's part to try to get drivers to stay more active on the platform. And I think it's going to work. I think this will... Because, I mean, like I said, the apps, they care about... Mostly care about passengers getting rides quickly. And a move like this will mean that drivers will stay logged on Lyft longer to try to hit those bonuses without without having a leash around their neck the entire time 
So, uh, good move on lift, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one. Oh my god, that corgi's so cute. I want to steal it. I'm sorry. I'm uh, I'm by the loop right now. There's so many cute dogs in the city. I want to steal that corgi. It's a corgi puppy. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to thank y'all for watching. Everyone, uh, please stay safe out there. Stay driven. Stay bearded. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.